we have to big up the sponsors and we have to big up Sensi Medical Cannabis House, yes. where the podcast is being hosted currently. Of course, big up to them. Morning Bliss. All right, which will be held in St. Thomas. I get to see all the good people of St. Thomas there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We Drop right. like <laughs> So yes, the fix will be there at, at um, this edition of Morning Bliss. We will be a part of the media team that will be covering Red Bull Culture Clash. Yes, the Red Bull Culture Clash is coming to Kingston, Jamaica, November 2nd at the National Arena. Four stages, four crews, one winner. Should be interesting. The fix will be there. Oh, yeah. Right? Cool heap of things we look forward to, including giveaways on our social media and Instagram. We'll be giving away tickets to the event. Mm -hmm. Also, you can follow them at Red Bull <clears throat> Jamaica to find out how you can get tickets online. Otherwise, from that, we will be giving away tickets on our social media for the event. So, yeah, in the forwarding weeks, we're going to see that I roll out on the social media and we're going to preview the several crews that will be taking part. There is a clip going around um, of Bounty Killer and an interview he did. It was at UTEC. Nothing yes. named Trap Dancehall. Yeah. Trap music is Trap music and Dancehall is Dancehall. So you can't take two genres and make one. What name so? You can't have reggae soca. You hear them to try soge, like you want to make soca with reggae. No, you can't do that. You don't have medley music. Okay. You couldn't have rap trap, so you have dancehall trap. That is like stealing people's music to make one. No, and Jamaica have such creative music. Why are we going to thief people music? You can't make something and call it trap fusion. And then you don't know what Jamaica music mix up with trap and it's a fusion. But you can't take dance hall, go put side up, one other some dance hall, a dance hall, trap a trap. I don't necessarily agree with what he's saying. At least I think he's looking at it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because he's here seeing that this oh. is a new genre being created. Are you okay? Are you, you're in the middle of recording and you're killing something or that doesn't need to be killed. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Ari really is something special. Um... I think he's looking at it the wrong way. I think him hear this trap hall thing or trap dance hall thing and he think it's something to replace dance hall. It's a new thing in and of itself akin to the genre that is dance hall. I don't see it that way. As a, a, a trap music or a rap trap or a hip hop trap or whatever, I see it as a subgenre. It's, it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's a subgenre created f fusing dancehall music and, and hip hop trap. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's something yep. that's current. It's going to have it time. And then a couple of years from now, it's going to pass. It's a trend. If it passes. It probably will pass. It, pass. it probably will pass. It will. It's a trend though. Can you imagine maybe people who like older folks who did reggae? Mm. like reggae rock steady and then dance i'll come in it's like oh this this song is gonna pass and probably that's don't true embracing but it. but still is perspective because as me see it i see it as a subgenre. i don't see it as a genre on itself mm -hmm. so i wouldn't pass them remarks at least wouldn't think anybody pass them remarks about reggae as a genre dance as a genre is it me sub genres are things that i see come and go all the time yeah all the time they have them trendy. time hmm? trends trending yeah they are trends mm -hmm. and that's how i see it i just think him him see it a different way it's a sub genre i miss the reggae music forever bigger person of reggae music forever mm -hmm. um but when we see him post it and him <coughs> say walsh fire was saying that a new genre is to come out of jamaica never thought about this they talk about more about more about like the music where coffee and make and, and chronics and prodigy and it's like Demo a full them. hybrid of reggae mm -hmm. and various Hip other sounds where it sounds completely different. Yeah, like it not really sound like reggae, not really it sound, sound like, like dancer. Like it's it's sounding mm -hmm. different. 
that's what he was talking about there. Mm-hmm. Not trap dance hall where you clearly see the dance hall elements, I clearly see the trap elements. Ah, it's that thing what you see me what going on and you now made popular by Raging King and carried on by the six and of course there are other artists before that was doing it, but it popularized by them. Yeah. It's a trend now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it go cross over internationally. Cause there are some that say I think why rush me to make a post say oh, to the US audience to come off as whack because come out coming like a knockoff hip hop. <laughs> and I could see why them could see it as that. And two local audience say like, hey, this is a dance hall. And yeah, what is this? Like a bounty killer, I guess. Mm-hmm. But They're like who who like who it but whatever. Yeah, it's it's doing what it's doing. Any thoughts, ladies? Yeah, um, me not mind it. Me not really agree with Bounty. Mm. Um, it's a fusion of both jo- genres. Mm-hmm. It's just that it. Man, no, I'm I'm for it. I I'm like when people do things different. Mm-hmm. So if they might tap into it and they might try something new, then try something new. You know, for call it trap hall. Yeah. Or whatever, it can have its own name. So make them go and do them thing I and we'll see how long it lasts. I think we did see Red Rod comment that he if was, it can improve. Go see. Um I think we did see Red Rod the comment and say like I think Bounty's main problem is the name of it. Trap Hall. Uh how it's the name Trap Hall and mm. that's really the, the crooks of what he was saying the name in. I, I just think it's it's a perspective. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and just see it see it in a, a wrong perspective. Or, yeah, not the perspective that I see it. Um, but you're right. That's how subgenres and even genres unto themselves are created by fusing things together. Mm-hmm. That's how they are created. Ari, it's 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 a it's a bit tricky, mm-hmm. and it's like I feel like I'm going to tread the middle ground here because while I do understand where um bounty's coming from, and I get it, I get the sentiment because I don't necessarily like the song I dance on. No, like some songs here are nice, but mm-hmm. not all of them catch to me i feel like it pretty much sound like noise to me now because it's just one white mm, <laughs> mm-hmm. but um maybe and I, but i'm not into sit here and say like some of them do stand out some of them i do real to and i'm like yeah this this nice this have a vibe but the overall sound is not my favorite um but is like we have to be careful of being the old people in the club and be like oh this isn't Which nice you are and da, da, da. like i slowly am becoming <laughs> but it's just it's just uh, people people didn't ambass me and say oh yeah yeah shit pan veta vendetta and six um beef uh-huh. but like i told y'all it was going down quick because one of them did i got tap out which the motherfucker did <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all. But two, it's just like, you know, the, you, you realize that the sound has changed and people have tried to change. And like, you know, like the sound, the it, thing, dance on in and of itself is changing. Mm-hmm. And you don't necessarily want to be like the old curmudgeon in other club has said, like, turn that, turn that noise off. It's just, yeah, for, as you say, is a, a fusion and a subgenre i do agree with that it can be considered a subgenre of dancehall but it's it's the subgenre now that is trendy and happening and that's at the forefront mm. so the older dancehall and the dancehall and the sound of dancehall what we know no is is fading is not necessarily being and as you say like coffee and everything is being twisted and folded and chopped and screwed into something that is unrecognizable mm. so it's, it feels like dancehall is dying and i feel like people like maybe i'm not speaking for a bounty but it maybe that's where he's thinking like dancehall and is maybe dying. that's where his sentiments are coming from yeah. i feel that it, it, this is something so that's going to take the, over or kill dancer so, because in and, in and of itself is true because everybody's trying to do something new and fresh and everybody are trying to be trendsetter and the leading person and be like oh i'm the one that created this because if you talk to every if you talk to any dancehall artist, any producer, yeah, you know, I me first do this. Mm. I me first box X. I me first sing about, say everybody Why? wants to be ahead <laughs> of the curve. So, you know, it's, it's, but they're, they're doing so at the, the expense of dancehall. Maybe if it's not for you, it's just not for you. Mm. You know, and you can't say that it's just not for you. I've said this, it's not for me. Some things aren't for me and you can just walk away from it. But, I don't know. 
I'm as I said, I'm treading the middle ground because I do understand both sides of the debate. Not even necessarily agree with you at the expense of dancehall argument. I feel like dancehall is still here. Mm-hmm. Dancehall, it now gone away. It's mm-hmm. just that it's going. The older one, you notice, is the older sound that we like. The older sound, at least, what the international. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not like. even that's even international. You. Mm-hmm. Javi, but but you what I consider when the you, whole song when you got party was a real, new song <laughs> in a sort of way. When you go real, <laughs> you never like like you know real for like the old dancing dancehall. You know like mm-hmm. you hear them song they real for no, it's just like oh yeah yeah you know the song it's familiar to the you just rock and put your lighters up and <laughs> or your finger on bust two. Are the younger people the moment? Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know. So it's just, it, it feels as if it's at the expense of dancehall. Because yeah. it's not not least what we know. Because dancehall isn't, like, we're not hearing a dancehall what we know. No, are we? I don't know. I'm not hearing them. At least dancehall that connects and, and that we love instantly, it's... It's few and far between, mm-hmm. to be honest. To I be must honest. pick up this person named JLL. They, I think they do Jazzy. He works with Jazzy Lee. Yeah. Lee's. Um, what's the song that I'm I love by Jazzy Lee? No, Fresh, Fresh and clean. clean. Fresh and clean. And the song yeah. she did before that. Yeah. Mm. Just, and Chris yeah. Malikai, big of yourself. He did an EP um with him, and I love it. And you hear you hear the elements of dancer, like you hear the mm-hmm. real instrumentation and the instrument the in, the instrument. Sorry and. You know, if you hear the arrangement, it's beautifully arranged. You know that it's sonically pleasing. Mm. But you know, it's just. It, but it, you hear, there's a little pop here, right. a little this here, yeah. and, mm-hmm. so it's just we just have to learn for just maybe open our minds to certain mm-hmm. things. I, In this context, Devin is right. Open your mind. That was just what I just said. <laughs> that you me. <laughs> so we can't, we can't really knock it. Yeah, we don't like certain things, but we, we shouldn't be the one to be like done with that. If mm-hmm. you understand. Yeah, and I'm not going to because there are some of it, as you said, that I like and me take on to. But as I just bring up, my feel, I more feel the song than more far from that side of the, the, the divide or that side of the. We've said divide, kind of you know, one people them say, Oh, we are divided up dance, we divide up music when it's all one, it's all unity. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> on that side sitting. of the coin and the more reggae side where the new genre is being created, mm-hmm. I find those songs to be more pleasing and more interesting to me for real. I, I can agree with you there, I, I can. Um but yeah, they the the song because them take on these, some of these artists, them take on the cartel model, and it's almost like they're driving the sound into the ground. Mm. <laughs> like every other song, because them are working with one producer, one and two mm. producer, and it's Echo so Chamber. you hear the same drum same. pattern, you hear mm. the same kind of sound, the mm-hmm. so, song them sound alike, and it's like you're getting tired of it. So that's why I miss I don't feel that lasts mm-hmm. too long. If it's just a trend will happen now, mm-hmm. you see me? It's a popular trend. But to me and to others out there, because I see these sentiments being echoed, it's like too much hype though. Hmm. It's like it's because I put out music so often, and because I use the one producer, the song kinda get tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Like that's always been my biggest contention. I think the worst thing that has ever happened to dancehall is when artists corner off and lay ownership to producer. Mm. You know, yeah. I think that's that's one of the worst thing. I think that was the death to dancehall. Like if I'm me and you are Warren Arrow and Javi are the one producer. If Javi were um a pro- voice for you, Javi automatically say Naro and of she, course she, she can't she can't voice she can't voice me that's ridiculous that is i think that is the death to right, dance all man. yeah and me. yeah <laughs> you know that's like the death to dance out to me but i mean i've been thinking about because it's a constant thing and mm. sometimes i'm back and forth like yeah i don't really like the new song at least you know this version what them have of dance all but it's like you just don't want to knock it you know mm. you just like you just know it's not for you and you're not try force it if you like it you like it if you don't you don't mm. but you know it's we just have to i like see. some of it me, I, me I, too me too i like do so much. because if, what it's not that deep <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> i was saying look at the example now, even <laughs> with um 
King Midas, not nice song. And the song in Empire Medellino and and one general with Bounty Killer and now mm-hmm. those are real dancer dancer. And them two sang them a love off of the album. Like mm-hmm. those are my two well, there are several, but those are my two favorites. Like, nah, two s- it's that one? The no, them other still from it. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So you know that those are my the two ballad. favorite standout al- um songs off the album and they're right. d- real authentic, like um Bounty is like a more 80s, early 90s mm. vibe. And um, no, Empire Medley is more our 2000s, 2000, early yeah, 2000 yeah. feel. But, Mid-2000s. you know, it's, it's, just, it's just not yours. And it, I you can't knock it. we have come to a, a, a point in a dance and music where we need to find a way to evolve the thing and uh, 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 push forward the thing while still remaining true to what the essence of it is and i feel like there that's are what some they're do- doing but there are some is, doing that i agree with you i agree with you Darren. I and i feel like this is of, what, about, what's about happening his, now mm. is growing pains i feel so too. like you know in so it, your teeth are you, when you get your new teeth it, it adds mm. you know but eventually adult teeth come true so we have to just allow the shift to happen and come mm. i feel like in, in, even in the case of bounding feel like say more uh, lean over to the hip-hop trap side yeah, and like yeah. Trap, Which it trap, is. as you say it's a sub-genre mm-hmm. uh hip-hop and mm-hmm. feel lean so much t- 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 lean over into a sub-genre mm-hmm. like a so much you know lean like like <laughs> my priest i saw him a pre this is mm-hmm. like you know lean too much in it mm-hmm. and it's like you know i make the thing unrecognizable you don't have rogue huh? <laughs> <laughs> so the cast is set in a life. Uh, what? He was the one they say, uh, we know. He's out there, out there. The man get animated and like the man, get, the man was passionate boy, but that, yeah. Isn't it? So we just feel like we just need to reach a, a point or a place where the, the, it can be a happy marriage and we still stay authentic to the sound mm-hmm. and what we know to be authentic dancer. Four crews, four stages, one winner! Red Bull Culture Clash is coming to Jamaica November 2nd at the National Arena. You have it there! 1972 witnessed the birth of a great color look at River Tan. See if you that have me place. Chop me first, first, and the age of 21. Don't be dope, it did the bang, but a shot was the bomb. 